My people, the Stardew Valley 1.5 update introduced two new fruit trees and two new crops into the game that you can use to make some profit during the summer. Today we're going to be taking a look at not only how profitable are these crops, but also a few of their uses. If you guys find this video helpful, please consider subscribing, or I do stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez. Banana saplings are obtainable on Ginger Island from the Island Trader for five dragon teeth, or you have a chance of getting one from a golden coconut. I recommend either planting the sapling in your greenhouse or on your Ginger Island farm so that it produces fruit year round, rather than just in the summer. After 28 days, the sapling will grow into a tree that produces one banana per day. The base price you'll get for selling these is 150 gold, but with the tiller profession, you'll make 165 gold. After one year of having a fully mature banana tree, the tree will start producing silver quality bananas, which sell for a base value of 187. After two years, this value increases to 225 and then after three years up to 300. And of course you'll make even more money if you have the tiller profession. Turning bananas into wine does increase the price of your product. However, since it takes just over six days for this process, you'll end up dropping your profit to 62 gold per day. However, using the preserves jar is slightly more profitable at 87.5 gold per day. It's not profitable to turn your bananas into the new food item, banana pudding, but the dish does have some good bonuses. You can buy the recipe from the island trader for 30 bone fragments, and the dish requires one banana, one milk, and one sugar to make. After eating one, you'll have plus one mining, plus one luck, and plus one defense for five minutes. The mango tree works the same way as the banana tree. It can be obtained from the island trader for 75 mussels and produces one mango per day. Originally, the mangoes from the tree will be worth 130 gold, but will eventually be worth 162, 195, and 260 after one, two, and three years respectively. Again, if you decide to process your fruit in a keg, the resulting profit drops to 53.8 gold per day, but turning it into jelly with the preserves jar is 77.5 gold per day. Mangoes are used in the recipe for mango sticky rice, which can be obtained from Leo and the male after reaching seven hearts with him. You'll lose out on at least 180 gold if you sell this dish instead of just selling the regular ingredients, but if you use this dish, you'll get a boost of plus three defense for five minutes. Tarot tubers are planted in the summer and take 10 days to reach maturity. You can obtain them from a variety of sources, but the easiest way to get a lot of them is from the island trader for two bone fragments. Taro roots sell for 100 at the regular quality, 125 at the silver quality, and 150 at the gold quality. This results in a 10 gold per day profit, which is pretty minimal compared to some other crops. However, if you find yourself with a bunch of taro tubers from your time in the volcano mines, it's probably worth it to just plant them all for the extra money. If you use kegs to turn your taro roots into wine, you'll net 14 gold per day, or with a preserves jar, you'll get 17.9 gold per day. You can combine four taro roots in the kitchen to create the dish poi, which beyond being a gift that Leo loves doesn't serve much purpose. The pineapple bush yields fruit during the summer or year round on the Ginger Island farm. There's really no reason to plant pineapples on the regular farm, since you'll only have time to get two harvests out of them, making it significantly less profitable. Pineapples will start to grow 14 days after planting the pineapple seed and will continue to produce pineapples every seven days after that. Pineapples sell for 300 at the regular quality, 375 for the silver quality, and 450 at the gold quality. If planted on Ginger Island, this effectively results in 42.9 gold per day. Compared to star fruit, which are 26.9 gold per day after accounting for the price of seeds, this is a super profitable crop. But before you get rid of all your star fruit or pineapples, remember what makes star fruit so profitable. Once we turn our crops into wine, we find that pineapple wine is 69.2 gold per day and starfruit wine is 97.4 gold per day. Plus you'll need way more kegs to process all of those pineapples. The pineapple is used in the recipe for tropical curry, which can be obtained from the island resort. It requires a pineapple, a coconut, and a hot pepper to make and provides a plus four boost to foraging. So there you guys go. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, if it was, please consider subscribing or I do stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.